Hello mga kababayan, welcome to my channel, welcome to laruan ni Obi-Wan So from Marvel Legends Hasbro, we have the US Agent This is a build a figure wave of the controller figure Let's examine the contents of our purchase So we have the US Agent figure, we have the shield, we have an extra pair of hands and on this side, we have the arms and an extra hand of the controller build a figure piece. Let's do a visual 360 of the figure right out of package. So we have the extra handsets on the figure. So the other, the left hand is going to be an expression hand or a shield drawing hand. The accessory hand is going to be the right hand but it's more for possibly a sword or a spear or a staff as you could see the trigger finger and the thumb they are molded together so if you wish to make this hand a pistol holding hand you have to subject this handset to an exacto knife so you just have to separate the trigger finger uh, the trigger finger and the thumb and make a cut on the trigger finger so if you have a pistol on um, extra pistol on board you could include it with the figure but right out of package just so you would know that handset they're molded together the thumb the trigger finger and the thumb so this is the shield that comes with the figure thickness this is the holding side or the uh, merging side with the figure so it's going to be a peg and the clamp system and if you have been collecting action figures for quite some time now you know that this system somehow this clamp is going to break so you just have to later subject this to some kind of modification in case it breaks so that's a really thin profile we have a more standard captain america shield with a different style of strap system which i most prefer so this strap system versus this so this has uh, really stand the test of time this is going to break sooner or later because i was pinching the clamp and i know that is made of quite softer plastic compared to the ones that have been released several years back this is made of softer pliable plastic this is how the figure looks with the shield pegged on the back of the figure so let us see how the figure looks with the shield on the forearm of the figure so we do that expose the clamp and I guess the proper way so as not to put stress on the plastic is to do this first and rotate so as you could see there's that space so much space between the forearm and the shield but how does the figure look with that shield on so of course you're going to display this action figure on your shelf so if you've got a lot of space a action pose is a must but if you don't have a lot of space it's just going to be a new, very neutral standing pose as for articulation on this figure the head is on a ball and the hinge the arm has a cut on the bicep for rotation of the bicep two points of articulation on the elbow we have a hinge and rotation for the hand and for the body we have a diaphragm cut for bending forwards and backwards we have waist rotation on the legs we have a thigh cut for rotation of the thigh two points of articulation on the knee 
and we have a boot cut for rotation of the boot and for the foot we have a nice swivel and a hinge so since this wave of action figure comes with a window packaging material then you could check for quality control issues it's just going to be the paint job so what are the things to look for while this figure is in packaging so it's going to be the paint job on the belt buckle and on the chest of the figure if the lines are nicely painted no overwash or overlay of um, colors the whites mixing with the reds the uh, dark blue uh, somehow discolored because we have an overlay of red and the next thing to watch for would be how are the eyes on this figure is it painted well and the last is going to be to check for the paint job on the wings on the mask of this figure so if the wings are nicely painted white let's discuss quality control issues so this is my second figure the first figure that i purchased i have to return it because majority of the joints even if you subject this to a hot bath or a boiling water bath the joints are just stuck or they are glued together for whatever reason i really don't know because uh, this is a figure that is there's a, just a little bit of paint job on this figure but the joints are really stuck on it so what to watch for when you take the figure out of packaging would be on the knee the elbows the forearms the biceps i mean and on the thigh somehow the first copy that i had majority of the joints i had a stuck right bicep a stuck um uh, knee a stuck right um, boot so i really couldn't uh, get that figure to articulate well so i had to return it and exchange it with another one so this second copy that i was able to um, exchange we still have a quality control issue with this so right out of packaging i subjected this to hot bath so results all of the articulation points are okay except for this area which is still a single point of articulation even right now because this area on the knee the secondary um, bending area for the knee that is stuck shut so if i return this figure once again i really don't know what kind of quality control issue am i going to face and i just don't want to drive once again to the store just to replace this action figure because this wave is already hitting our uh, local stores and that's it you just have to really check on the figure that you get and the best way well if you're still on the store um, right after you pay for this take it out of packaging and try to articulate the figure if majority of the joints are stuck on your copy then before you leave or go home just immediately replace it because instead of once again driving back to the store that's a really big hassle okay so my thoughts on this controller build a figure wave so if you're interested in completing this figure then you're going to spend 144 dollars tax not included um but basing on all of the figures that i have seen the ones that that only interest me is going to be the iron man figure which is actually not part of the build a figure wave 
and the second figure which we have right now i'm interested in this more traditional or comic book version of the us agent that's why i shelled out 24 dollars plus tax for this action figure to include in my collection but somehow this uh, type of body mold and parts actually they have been reused by hasbro several times but somehow with this iteration the paint job is really clean the head sculpt is nice and decent i just don't like the accessories that are included so the shield i would have wanted a more traditional looking or the more modern version the strap system instead of that peg and clamp system so really depends on you personally but for me it's just going to be these two figures so i could save more and possibly look onto other figure lines for purchase so i hope this video helps so once again this is laruan ni obi-wan your youtube content creator toy reviewer see you on the next action figure review